We are, where are we? In the Gower somewhere, Port Ainon. <sighs> and we've had to do a little trek up a mountain. Dwin Hoffi Gwai. Green. Green. So I am now um, visiting Singleton Park. It's the largest urban park in the city of Swansea and it is located in the borough or town Sketty. Yeah, Sketty sounds Sketty. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's actually a really nice place. Um, but yeah, um, so I went to go and visit the botanical gardens that are there and it was a nice visit, I'm, I'm gonna say, but because of COVID, I couldn't really go into the glass houses because they were closed and everything. So I did get to manage to take some pictures of what I did see. I didn't vlog here because it was kind of just like a little walk and, you know, a relaxing time for me and, and the other, just, you know, just to, you know, spend some time out of the house because we had been in the house the whole day beforehand. Because you grew up in Hack. So now I am visiting Locker Castle, I believe it's called. Locker Castle is a ruined medieval fortification located in the town of Locker, Wales. Um, I know that the castle is just around the corner from the others. Uh, dad's house and um i really liked seeing it just because i mean wells is littered with so many castles and my my one thing is to go and see every single one of them however this one in particular i was a bit disheartened just because well it's based in a local community and well there was bottles and there was crisp packets all over the floor and i just wish that it was more manned like other castles are or just any ready you you know historical pieces you know it, it was it was just really disheartening seeing Chris packets and whatnot on the floor. but I mean children and adults and people are better later so it's to be expected if there's no one to you know, put some force in there we are in Brasili, Wales, Swansea, and we are going to see the sunflower patch. I'll take some pictures, and it's actually quite beautiful here, actually, and it's really quiet. Um, the, I can see West Wales to my right, and what's on our left? Uh, yeah. And the Gower is on our left. And we're in the Gower. And we are actually in the Gower, so. I will swing the camera around so you can see the sunflowers. They're over there. And that looks quite amazing. I'll take some pictures later. We've just come from over there where we parked. And apparently, well, this, that, it's called Worm's Head because it looks like a worm coming out of the sea. This is what the Welsh say. <laughs> what was the storm called again? Ellen? Yeah. So Storm Ellen has taken her toll on this massive field of sunflowers, but still, it's still quite amazing to see so much. It's weird. I feel like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. And there's so many different types of sunflowers as well. Oh, 
Huh? He took the camera away and then he fell off. It was posing. <laughs> So just being in Rosalie where the sunflower um, field is, I just felt really um, amazed at how many sun sun uh, sunflowers that I could see. Like I've never seen so many sunflowers in one area in my life. Normally I just have like two or three in my garden and I'm just amazed that I can grow them. But to see a field full of them was just like, ooh. Um, also like, I mean, although Storm Ellen had kind of pushed her, her force onto them, it was still such an amazing sight. And Rosalie, as in the small um, village itself, I mean, it's so, it's so small and cute, and literally we saw all of it when we drove in and out. Um, it is a nice place and I wished I could have stayed there a little longer, but we did have other ventures to go to that day. So um, we just spent a little bit, you know, just walking around and uh, yeah. And you will see that I did see the Coast Watch, the National Coast Watch, which I didn't even know was so important, but apparently they are and uh, Linden jumped it out and the and stuff, but yeah. <laughs> just Can't use maps on my phone because there's no service in this area. How do people live? So we are looking for Culver Hole Caves and we are, where are we? In the Gower somewhere, Port Ainon. <sighs> and we've had to do a little trek up a mountain to get to the caves. I don't even know if we're close yet. Uh, let me show you where, where we've come from. So we have come from so we huh the, well, there's a salt house where we've just taken some pictures and we have come all the way i think it's this opening from over there and we had to walk along the beach and across loads of rocks and seaweed and although it doesn't look high if you can see we had to kind of climb through that and there, there's not really a direct path up here so you've just got to kind of feel your way through so yes <sighs> and I'm really hot I didn't anticipate that it was going to be so hot but I am wearing shorts. De -de -de. And the lovely sea is behind me. It's really quiet. It's nice. I think we found them, but it looks a bit dangerous, so we're not going to go any further. Um, we don't really have the appropriate footwear, and the tide is coming in, and we might get stuck. Shall we go yeah. to the horses? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. So that means we can't actually go that way because they're not facing us. And I don't actually want to pass them because they might. Our maps told us we were right, right on top of them. However, because it was so dangerous, we weren't going down there for anybody. And these pictures show that we were kind of right on top of them. So I've just woken up and it's my last night here in Swansea, Wales and um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to go around Swansea town and just do some like window shopping maybe, buy some stuff, some cockles, Welsh cockles and um, yeah I need to shave. And that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna have a what is it it's not tradi maybe it is traditional but I'm gonna have faggots <clears throat> and so I know up north in England people like them and in Wales they like them apparently supposedly but, so I'm gonna have those because I've, I don't think I've had them before so when I used to go to my grandparents up north I, I've never read, I've not actually heard of them, but, yeah. <clears throat> this is what my hair looks like <laughs> when it's tied back and I don't put anything on my head. Um, it's been a great experience, a great, a great break away. I feel refreshed, I feel... I need to brush my teeth. I need to, I just need to shower. Um So here we are in Swansea town or city and this is the Swansea Castle or Swansea City Castle. I can't remember what it's called but pictures up here as you can see. And um yeah we just had a little walk around. I mean I, I always go to the city um of Swansea um when I'm here, you know, to go shopping and to go and have eat eat eats out to go and eat out <laughs> and this is the museum that I once went to but it was closed because of COVID and here is Dylan Thomas. Dylan Thomas is a famous Welsh poet and um, yeah um, people look up to him and not so much Catherine Zeta-Jones. <laughs> Market in Welsh is Ma Marshanad Mach Machnad Apatawi. And this is Swansea Market. What the internet told me I should come and see. But as you can see, social distancing and all. I'm just glad I don't have to wear masks like I do in London. Dresses. Walk. I am walking. Okay. 
Didn't they used to have an ice cream stall down here? Really? Yeah. Where? What's your identifier in there? So I just went into Swansea Town and <coughs> had a little walk around just to see um, some things and as you saw we went to Swansea Market which is in Swelsh, Swelsh in Welsh is how do you say market again? Marknad Abitawi Marknad Abitawi and there was cockles and stuff that I wanted to get because that's what I wanted to do whenever I come here but they don't take card they only took card in one of the um, fishmongers that were there that we, saw. that we saw which was kind of annoying you don't have to um, narrate don't be annoying then you'll be annoying and um, but so I'm a doll collector as well and although like obviously it's nothing to do with being Welsh or Wales Swansea I've decided to collect a new collection of dolls. So the collection that I already have is the Living Dead um, series or collection dolls or whatever you want to call it. Like I collect Living Dead dolls and I've decided I'm going to start collecting Mattel's Barbie Fashionista dolls. So I've got some here. I went to Lidl the other day and I got this one so I got 128 130 they say 130 looks like me but 130 don't look nothing like me like if I put that close up you're the same no the same we're not the same and yeah and I also got this cute one with Vita Ligo I don't know if I'm actually going to take them out of the boxes because I actually like the packaging behind and it's not like I'm going to play with them. Well, who knows? But um, yeah, I think I'm going to start collecting them all regardless if they make money or not. They're just really nice to look at. I like dolls and I like when people come to my house and get freaked out by all the dolls that I have. There's a doll upstairs, however, I, I wouldn't one in my house. I'll show you later. It's scary. Just having a little snack. This is some faggots with some roast potatoes and some peas. It was really nice actually. So this is the closing almost to this little mini series of my trip, my vlogs of Swansea. Um, I always get emotional when I leave. Um, and I'm actually getting emotional right now just doing this voiceover. But Swansea is such a beautiful place. And when people say, why are you going to Swansea? Well, why not? It's such an amazing place and the people are so nice, you know. I did have fears before, but I don't anymore. So guys, I'm back in England, London. <laughs> and they're looking at me like I'm really crazy. <laughs> but as you can see, they're in, they're in they're, look, there they are, in, the, in there. I can't expose them. I'm not, I can't. <laughs> I can't expose them because obviously, they did protection and all. But um, yeah, back here with my friends, I'm about to have some dinner, have some drinks, get a little twisted, but I can't get too twisted because there's stuff to do tomorrow. Anyway, why are you doing it like that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, check it out. And this is the end of the vlog. I had an amazing time in Wales. And next time I go to Wales, I am definitely going to go to. That's what they do. Yeah, I'm going to go up to 
North Wales and West Wales, more West Wales. Okay, all right. Thank <laughs> you.